Hello, everyone. This is the Free American Press with your host, Alexander Horat. Today, I'm going to show you a really important video. And before I begin, if you could please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video, that would be really appreciated. So I'm going to share my screen to show you all what's going on. So there was an arrest uh, is made at a freedom protest in London uh, today. <laughs> So I really thank uh, everyone that this comment, these two comments are pretty good says that wasn't it only yesterday that the mainstream media was showing us footage of arrests of anti-war protesters in Russia as proof of how oppressed they are and how they're not free like we are. And then Ion Gibbs says, I used to have such respect for the police, 15 police personnel to jump on one protester and push an old lady a while whilst shouting, get back at her. You lot need to grow up. I did 10 years in HMS, and I would be ashamed to be filmed taking part in that fiasco. I'm 69 years old now, but I would love to be your national service drill sergeant getting you ready for Ukraine. See how many of you big strong guys make it out there. Yeah, I know you have a busy day uh, booking someone for parking somewhere illegally. So this is completely uh, a terrible thing. And like I was saying before, a lot of this Ukraine stuff you know, they say Russia's bad and, oh, we need to get ready for war and uh, everything. But it's distracting from what they've done to us for over two years, the pandemic, the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. And it's been a terrible thing that has happened to the people of England. And uh, the people said enough recently. They started protesting Canada. They said enough. It's time for us to have our freedom back. So they actually had trucker convoys and everything, and they're actually starting to do that in the United States. But they wanted their freedom back, and now they started a war. To One main thing, I think, of it is to distract people, and now they're arresting people in England as I speak. Uh, you saw the video, 20 policemen piling on one lone protester protesting their uh, totalitarian state and their brutality. And they even pushed uh, what looked to be like an 80-year-old, 70-year-old lady. Uh, and that's just for walking near and looking. Uh, so I think that's completely uh, wrong and ethical. And what I really think is that they're going to push down on us harder. Now with this whole Ukraine thing, it's going to be another uh, good reason to have martial law and to have government mandates again. Because they saw people were getting tired of COVID and all these restrictions. So they're just going to do the same thing but in the name of martial law and mandates. So we see what's going on. The people watching this video sees what's going on. We see the brutality of our governments. We see what they're trying to do. They're trying to shut us down. They don't want us to speak. They don't want us to protest. And they don't want us to have freedom. They don't want, to have us, want us to have our God-given rights. So it's time to stand up and uh, you know protest what's going on. I really support these trucker convoys, what they're doing. Uh, there's planning on going wash to Washington, D.C., I heard. So I think that's a really good thing that they're going to be going over there and doing that. Uh, I think that's going to be really good. Uh, so, yeah, if, any, if there's any truckers, please go attend those trucker uh, protests. And we need to get some good people to run for office who aren't willing to take corporate donations and money from lobbyists. And we just need to stand up and pray for the people of England, the people of Canada, the people of the United States and Russia. And uh, if you'd like to support what I'm doing, uh, you can support me here on uh, PayPal. I started a fundraiser. So it's basically uh, so you can support me on what I'm doing with my YouTube videos. By donating, you are helping me uh, continue and getting the word out on how our freedoms are being taken away and how we can stop that. And I really thank you for your support uh, for doing that. And uh, yeah, we need to stand strong uh, together or we'll hang separately. And it's time to take back the government. And uh, if you could please follow me on my other social media sites, such as Gab, Parlor, BitChute, and YouTube, and uh, Twitter and Facebook, that would be really appreciated as well. And thank you all for watching. God bless and have a good day.